During the Eisenhower administrations back in 1950s, Iran and the United States were allies, and uh, the Eisenhower administration uh, worked uh, on creation of a civil nuclear program with Iran. Then after the invasion of Afghanistan, U.S. invasion of Afghanistan and Iraq, Iranians were uh, uh, actually put on alert, you know, and they felt like the United States is planning to invade uh, Syria and subsequently Iran. Uh, so Iranians actually used the threat of expanding the nuclear program to deter U.S. from coming in. And then, of course, uh, with the uh, advent of the Obama administration, and Obama administration sending signal to the Iranians that they are prepared to enter into diplomatic relationship, uh, the result was the P5 plus one group negotiations when it, with Iran. The, the outcome of this uh, package is that, uh, that Iranians, for the next uh, 10 or 15 years, They'll be subject to intrusive inspection. Uh, they have uh, uh, reduced the enrichment to 3.75, uh, not even 5%. Uh, this will continue for 15 years. And they have stopped uh, the plutonium uh, production in certain facilities. On October 19, when it is uh, actually uh, the, that agreement is legally sanctioned by the parliament, uh, Iranians have to fulfill their end of the bargain. It's, they have to fulfill their obligations and after three months, say sometimes in the vicinity of February or March of 2016, then U.S. starts, United States starts to gradually lift the sanctions. The nuclear deal between Iran and the United States was not just a nuclear deal. It was about transforming of a relationship breaking that mistrust between these two countries, entering into a degree of normalcy. If you look at Iran today with its demographics and socioeconomic changes that are happening there, I would argue that uh, future belongs to moderates. Future belongs to reformists in Iran. When I look at the demography, the socioeconomic changes, so I think we are getting one step closer to uh, break the thaw of this mistrust that existed between these two nations.